At least three trucks transporting military products from Poland to Ukrainian armed forces have burned on the way. The trucks bound to Ukraine contained helmets, body armor and boxes with mortar charges for the Ukrainian armed forces, Russian media has reported. Residents of the surrounding villages of Aleksandrovis and Murovits have said that the explosion in the trucks occurred over the course of two hours. Video footage of the fire and explosion has been published in social media. The firefighters were unable to promptly extinguish the fire due to the explosions of the ammunition. As a result, a large amount of military aid bound to Ukraine burned out completely. The sound of flying fragments and detonation can be clearly heard in the video. The villages are located in southern Poland. The trucks were traveling along the A4 motorway, which is part of the Krakow Bypass Road. Nearby is the Krakow Ballas International Airport, which, in turn, is located next to the 8th Air Force Base of the Polish Air Force and jointly operates a runway. A missile attack was launched in the Rostov region of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. It is noted that on the night of August 21, units of the Ukrainian Navy, in coordination with other defense forces components, struck an S-300 anti-aircraft missile system near the town of Novoshaktinsk in Russia's Rostov region, citing the Ukrainian general staff. The military confirmed that explosions were observed at the target locations, and the accuracy of the strikes is currently being further assessed. Russian forces frequently use S-300 systems not only for air defense but also to attack civilian cities in Ukraine, leading to the destruction of residential buildings and terrorizing the civilian population. The Ukrainian Armed Forces operation in the Kursk region has been ongoing for nearly two weeks, with new advancements reported within Russian territory, according to a report from the American Institute for the Study of War, ISW. Geolocation footage shows Russian forces striking Ukrainian armored vehicles in northern Martinovka. This indicates that Ukrainian forces have recently advanced to this settlement. A Russian war correspondent reported that Ukrainian troops had captured Troitskoy and advanced to Semenovka. The Russian Ministry of Defense and Russian war correspondents have reported that Ukrainian forces conducted attacks. On the outskirts of Koronevo, southwest of Koronevo near Komarovka, east of Koronevo near Olgovka, northeast of Koronevo around Alexeyevsky, Safonovka, Kromskye Biki, Korchuk, and Sheptukovka, north of Sudza in the areas of Cherkaskoy Porechnoy, and Ruskoy Porechnoy, southeast of Sudza, in the area of Ozerka, Giri, and Boki. Additionally, according to geolocation footage from July the 17th and 18th, Ukrainian forces continue operations across the full extent of their declared advance in the Kursk region. In this case, Russia has deployed the so-called Space Brigade to defend the Kursk region. The soldiers have been reclassified as motorized infantry due to a shortage of personnel, according to important stories. The publication citing sources notes that a motorized rifle regiment composed of personnel from the Russian Aerospace Forces was formed in May to June for border protection. The so-called Space Brigade arrived in the border areas a few weeks before the Ukrainian breakthrough in mid-July. The unit included soldiers from security companies, engineers, mechanics and a few officers from the flight crews. They were transferred to infantry from airfields in Ukrenska in Altai Krai, Belaya in Irkutsk region and Engels in Saratov region. It is reported that the Space Brigade is already experiencing casualties. In the fighting near the settlement of Korenevo, 22-year-old Ilya Romanov went missing. He had been transferred to infantry from the 28th Arsenal of the Space Forces in Tambov region, a high-security facility where rockets and satellites are stored. 
The publication also speculates that the motorized rifle troops were likely part of a convoy of equipment destroyed by a strike near Rilsk in Kursk region on the night of August the 9th. On the same day, a 22-year-old sergeant from the Aerospace Forces transferred from a heavy bomber base in Amur region was injured at this location. 